Good afternoon, Wax and Tartan's back with another video. Uh, it's gonna be another sunglasses video, which I'm quite enjoying recently. Um, this one is gonna be a very quick, uh, no-nonsense video about the Wayfarer and the Wayfarer 2 from B&L or Bush and Long. We all know what the Wayfarer looks like. Um, it's still one of the most iconic glasses of all time. It's my favorite frame of all time. Um, and I think it's the, the greatest, most perfect frame. It suits everyone's face, uh, whether it's round, triangular, square, oval, it will suit it. And um, I obviously have a budding collection of them. So I am going to just go through the difference between the Wayfarer 1, I suppose, and the Wayfarer 2. Uh, both, these are both Bush and Loms. You can see here Wayfarer 2 and then the Wayfarer. Um, these are a friend of mine's over in Ireland. I sourced these for him uh, recently and just gonna do a quick video on these before shipping them out. So I will start with my pair, my late 70s, early 80s uh, Wayfarer. These ones are the ones I've had for a number of weeks now and I just have fallen in love with them. I love that shape. I love that tilt, and I love the the way that the G15 lenses go against this tortoise shell. It just looks absolutely spectacular. If this will ever focus. So these are a 50-24 model, which means it's a 50 mil lens with a 24 mil bridge. Usually they're 50-22s, but obviously it depends on which one you go for. Um, the 22 is the most common one that you'll find, which are same as these, same as my black pair in here. Um, the only differences are on the Wayfarer 2 is that they have a slightly smaller bridge, but we'll get to that in a second. And you can see here, no, uh, no Ray-Ban logo on the temples, v etching here and here, and the seven, as you know, everyone knows the seven point hinge is just one of the best. So these are my pair. And the uh, James's pair are these. So these are a 54mm lens with an 18mm bridge. A little bit different, but because of the larger uh, frame size and the lens size, you can have a smaller bridge, it accommodates very nicely. So you can see it's a lot more aggressive in terms of the size, it's a lot more prominent. I think it has a lot more presence. I'll need to find a pair for myself at some stage. So these are in fantastic condition, as you can see. They came with the original case, the original Wayfarer case. Uh, so before they had a, um, almost, I'm not sure what it was, but it's like a, a ridge coming in here, which stops them falling out. But these are the original cases, which are rotted out from the inside, unfortunately, but still cool. Um, don't use these anymore. They are just garbage, um, but they're cool for keepsakes and display purposes. It's just BNL Ray-Ban at USA. Somewhere here. <laughs> Cinematic mode is terrible sometimes. Um, and then it has Wayfarer 2 on the, uh, there we go, you can see it there. These ones have been altered, as you can see. They're not as the original as mine, which have the longer, as you can see here, they've definitely been moved, but they do stick on your face very, very well, and they are phenomenal. They are so cool. They have the Ray-Ban accent relief on the temples. And they have the BNL etching on the lenses here as well, under the hinges. Like I said, they're in brilliant, brilliant condition. When they came, they were in a really bad condition. They were just dirty. The uh, case dust went all over them. So I spent a good, good few minutes polishing these up, cleaning them, getting all the gubbins out from, the case gubbins out from all the inside the lenses and everything like that. But yeah, they're great. But yeah, those are just the main differences, basically. They are pretty much identical glasses in terms of looks. But the Wayfarers have a 50mm. The Wayfarer 2s have a 54mm lens. 
And if these come in a 22 or a 24 mil bridge, these only come in the 18 mil bridge. And other than that, they're pretty much identical. So there you go, it's just a quick video just to show the differences. Um, which do you prefer? Uh, from the Wayfarer or the Wayfarer 2? I prefer the Wayfarer just because it's the standard 50 mil and that's what I'm used to. I think they're just so cool. But yeah, just a quick video. Um, again, more to come and do check out my upcoming website. So there'll be more more goodies on there soon. There'll be um, lots of you know, different sort of sunglass reviews, barber reviews. I haven't forgotten about the barber guys, don't you worry. It's warm weather, it's sunglass season. Um, plus one man can only write about, uh, he can have only so many jackets, I suppose. So I'm gonna incorporate some more brands coming in over the next year or so. Um, the big thing's coming, so keep an eye out. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, Wayfarer and Wayfarer to a comparison video.